to tell you that your life as a Christian in this world, we're not here to enjoy this world as a playground. This is a school ground. We are being trained by the Master to preach and teach and live the gospel. Amen? Because the world is quickly coming to a close. And the Holy Spirit has put this on my heart to say this too. Some of you have been trying to witness to your loved ones and friends and you feel like you're hitting your head against a brick wall. Therefore, you feel like a failure, like God isn't using you. This has nothing to do with the sermon, but I feel the Holy Spirit telling me to say it. Listen to me. I preach to a lot of people, and there are many times that I feel like I'm hitting my head against a brick wall. People who refuse to listen, people who get angry, people who walk away. You are not a failure because you're living and testifying to Jesus Christ and people are rejecting you. You are fulfilling obediently the commission and the commands of God Almighty for your life. And listen to me, God's word never returns void. Now, I'm not saying that to say it's a guarantee that everyone you're witnessing to will get saved, but here's what I'm telling you. When I preach, if half the people I preach to listen and turn toward Jesus, praise God. If when I preach the other half, their heart gets hardened and they get angrier at God, and they get mad at me for what I preach, then God used me to take their heart along the path that they want their heart to go. And God is faithful to preach his word, and he allows people to react to it however they want to react to it. You are not a failure. You still proclaim the truth. It is their responsibility to either make their heart tender to the Lord or to harden it. And if you become a part of their hardening, that is only because you did what God told you to do. And God said, my word will never return void. It will always do something. It will either make a person tender or make a person hard. That's not my responsibility. That is not your responsibility. Are you with me? And I feel led to say one more thing. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because people in here are on the live stream. I've got to say this. It's hard for me to say, but I'm going to say it. Right now, you're devastated to think that somebody you care about might not be in heaven. And rightly so. But when you see Jesus, when you see things from God's perspective, you will have peace in your heart that God did all things well and that every person got exactly what they ultimately desired to have. That's a hard truth. But I don't want people giving up. I don't want Christians feeling like failures because you're crying and you're, you're trying and you're trying. Listen, you be faithful to live and tell and you leave the outcome in the hands of God, and you leave this in God's hands. When God holds you in heaven, you will have peace. You will know he did all things well. Amen? You will be so absorbed in the brightness of the glory of God that you will be able to understand what has happened and be at peace.